What is up guys, welcome back to another Wax Mode video and today we're going to do an unboxing of Turtle Wax's two latest products that they just released. And as you guys can see, I've got the Jet Black lineup uh, that I've collected over the years. I've got the, uh, the Ice Black polish and then I have the Hybrid Solutions ceramic lineup that was released earlier this year. Uh, so this is going to give you a clue and obviously the title of this video and the, the picture up front is going to give it away for you guys right away. But uh, huge shout out to Turtle Wax for sending this little gift package out to me that contains the products. Again, Turtle Wax is going above and beyond. They want to get the... They want to get their name out. They want to get uh, guys reviewing these products that they're excited about. And I'm definitely excited. And the quality of this little gift box right here is just, it's, it blows me away. You know, Turtle Wax is really putting a lot of effort and, and attention to detail into these little gift packages for, for reviewers and detailers. And I'm excited. And here you go. Here's the new Hybrid Solutions Ceramic Acrylic Black Polish and Black Wax. Now, these are going to be an evolution of the Jet Black lineup and an evolution of the Ice Black polish that was released last year. So I'm looking forward to seeing how these compare and how they perform uh, in a head-to-head -head direct comparison. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that in the future. Um, let's go ahead and we'll pull these out and show you guys a close-up of the details. Now, obviously, these are specifically targeted for those of you who have darker paints or black paints. The formulas are pigmented black, so you're going to see that coming through on your lighter microfiber tiles when you're working with them. And the idea is to create that richer, that darker, that deeper finish on black paint. But the upgrade with the ceramic acrylic line here is to carry over some of that great performance and good durability that we're seeing out of the ceramic, uh, the Hybrid Solutions ceramic line. Carry that over into these formulas to have an upgraded, you know, more durable option for those of you who maybe you enjoyed working with the Jet Black lineup, maybe you enjoyed working with the Ice Polish, but you really wanted a bit more durability. I think that's going to be the target of what these two products are designed to do. So reading the back of the bottle for the black wax here, it's got an interesting note at the top. It says, for more cleaning and fill, allow to lightly haze. So that's going to be something very different compared to the ceramic spray coating. It's not exactly, you know, specifically geared towards just protection. You're talking about the ability for it to possibly fill and enhance the paint at a better level. Uh, with the acrylic polymers in there. So that's going to be something that we can take a look at and, and see how that does in the test. Now with the ceramic acrylic black polish here, this is going to be an all-in-one formula, so something that's going to polish and protect the paint at the same time. And it looks like they're carrying over those platelet-style abrasives that were found in the ceramic polish and wax, which were actually very effective. I've seen a lot of great before and after shots from guys that are working on paint that hasn't already been compounded and polished and perfected. And I get a lot of questions, what's the best product to bring out the best amount of gloss, the best amount of depth on my paint? And that depends on your paint's condition. So if it's been a long time since you guys have polished your paint out, or maybe you've never polished your paint out, and you've got black paint, this is that product that you want to gravitate towards. If you have additional time to work on the paint, that's going to have the abrasives in there to do actual paint correction while leaving behind protection at the same time. Very effective. And you can use this by hand with the with a foam-based applicator pad. You can use this with the DA polisher on a polishing pad. It just depends on what you guys have access to. And these all-in-one types of polish and protectants are, are very effective, especially in the consumer world, in the enthusiast world. For guys that really don't have the polishers and the abrasives and the pads that the, the more fanatical enthusiasts or the professional detailers are working with on a regular basis, uh, these types of products, these all-in-one protectants are very effective because it doesn't take a lot of time to get a drastic difference in the results and a drastic gloss enhancement uh, using these on your paint. And the new black polish appears to have the same application instructions as the ceramic polish and wax, but we'll test. We'll test to see if the protection in the formulas is going to be at a different level or if they're going to be at the same level. Uh, we'll test that coming up in the future. And I want to do the same thing with the ceramic spray coating compared to the ceramic acrylic black wax test to see, you know, the durability, the chemical resistance to see if it's at the same level. And certainly put all three of these together side by side with each other. The ice black polish and the jet black spray wax. You know, I had a great time working with the ice black polish in particular. I should have done a video on it uh, a while ago. Uh, I had it in the gloss, uh, my introduction to gloss measuring video that I put up. But this was a... Uh, a product that surprised me. I thought it gave me a great enhancement on paint that wasn't already necessarily polished to perfection. Uh, you know, it just wiped off super cleanly, had a great cleaning ability, and it didn't have the durability of Ice Seal and Shine. Uh, Seal and Shine came out at the same time as the Ice Black Polish. 
but man, on black paint, the ice black polish looked way better than Steel and Shine. Much better wipeability, uh, much less tendency to want to streak on that paint uh, in certain environments. Now with the jet black lineup, I was actually a big fan of the black and Durashine tire coat and trim coating. These were two acrylic based products that gave me awesome durability. Unfortunately, they ended up being discontinued. And I was never a big fan of the Jet Black Spray Detailer or the Black Carnauba Wax. I thought the Black Carnauba Wax was really hard to get a, a nice clean wipe off from the paint after applying it to the surface. And so what I'm hoping for is that this new ceramic acrylic lineup is going to be a needed breath of fresh air into a direction from Turtle Wax that really needed it. Uh, to be honest, I thought the Black Box kit was weak in terms of wipeability, in terms of performance. And so I have a feeling that guys are going to have much more fun working with this new ceramic acrylic lineup compared to what you were seeing out of the products in the black box kit. Uh, and with this new lineup as well, you can use everything in conjunction with the, the rest of the hybrid solutions line. So if you want to use the wash and wax or the three in one detailer or the wet wax in conjunction with the ceramic acrylic black wax or black polish, you're going to be able to do that without any issues. Um, it's going to be interesting to see the compatibility between the ceramic spray coating on top of either the black wax or the black polish. So that's something that we can test in the future in upcoming videos. And I still have to do all my videos for the hybrid solutions lineup for the rest of the line. Uh, I've been doing a lot of testing with them. I got to get more results in and give you guys my feedback, get some long-term durability results in. But check out what else they sent in the box here. A, a nice little sticker that I got to find a spot for. A couple polishing pads for the buffer. Uh, a foam based applicator pad and some microfiber towels. So huge shout out to Turtle Wax again, guys. They're on an absolute mission. They're going all over social media. They want guys to get their hands on these products and provide honest feedback. And they want to know if these products are not performing. If we're having any issues, they want to hear about it. They're going to take that feedback and that input into consideration and use that to continue to improve on their products. And I'm also a huge fan of the design of the labeling, the packaging. I think the aesthetics of the Hybrid Solutions brand is excellent. And, you know, the performance of the products is going to be priority. But I also want products that are going to look good on the shelf. And I think Turtle Wax did a great job on the design for this new lineup. Guys, take a look at the back of the buffing pad here. You can see it's branded with the Hybrid Solutions logo. I think that's really neat. And if this is a Lake Country orange CCS pad, I'm not sure if Lake Country teamed up with Turtle Wax to do pads for them. But if it is, it'll be a, a medium polishing pad, a medium to heavy. You can get really good cut with an orange pad using the right compound. But with this type of, of ceramic acrylic black polish, it's going to be more of a medium cut. So we'll definitely put the 5 inch and the 6 inch pad to good use. All right, in this clip here, I'm going to show you guys a bit of the black pigment that's in each of the formulas. You can see against the yellow microfiber towel here just how deep and how dark that is now if you guys are using these you want to set aside a, a specific set of microfiber towels or just you know grab some of the black towels uh, because this type of chemistry will stain the towels now the retail price for these products is going to be twenty dollars for the black polish and sixteen dollars for the black wax and if you go to Turtle Wax's website on their shop they also have the kits available so the same kit that they sent me with a cool collector box You'd be able to pick that up with both of the products, one buffing pad of, of your size of choice, so six and a half inch or five and a half inch, and then you get the foam base applicator pad and a couple of microfiber towels, and you might get the sticker as well. That one's going to run you $50 for the kit. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I want to know your feedback down below. Uh, let me know what you think of the new ceramic acrylic lineup. But for those of you who want to get your hands on these, check down in the description below. I'll have links set up. Uh, stay tuned for a lot more tests, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.